So it's on a cornfield north of Clear Lake, Iowa, February 3rd, 1959, where pilot Roger Peterson left the Mason City Airport with three special guests, uh, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and Big Bobber. They say that the winds were whipping, so there was zero visibility, and that Roger Peterson, although he's an experienced pilot, he was inexperienced at reading instruments. Um, it's a long way out there, but that direction, out about an eighth of a mile, is a monument out there to the actual crash site. This is Gull Avenue. If you're ever in this area and you would like to visit the crash site, it's at the corner of 315th Street and Gull Avenue. You see many people have been doing memorials. Um, leaving little stickers of their various visits to the site. People leave their sunglasses in tribute to Buddy Holly. And of course, with Don McLean writing the song American Pie, there's people that leave a blown out flip flop <laughs> and can koozies. It's a very Oh, a pair of Lego glasses, how about that? It's a very humbling memorial. Yeah, this was the original. Well, not the original, but... I wonder if a lot of the T-posts are actually from that far back, although I doubt it. It'd be far more deteriorated than all these years later. But you'd have to imagine this all snow. I like reading some of the the post. A lot of couples. This is relatively new part of the memorial. Meaning this this with the glasses hasn't been up here very long. But should you come out and want to walk out to the crash site, uh, Straight across the road, they put in a Don McLean because he did sing American Pie. It's just a miniature parking lot, which the sweetness of it, um, I'm not sure who's handling it. Maybe somebody that lives nearby, but they have a cooler and you can get a bottle of water for nothing. I think they have a donation box here that helps them defray the cost. I, I put some money in already. So they can afford more water to give out. People come from all over the United States to 
here's the donation box. Just a way of saying thank you and there's the cooler. It says free water. Of which I got a Dasani. <laughs> but it's a sweet memorial for a very tragic day. I don't think this has been here too awful long either. I've been out here several times and it's all fresh gravel, new picnic tables. <laughs> Somebody put the little plastic pieces for the Oh, they're little souvenirs, I guess. I see. <laughs> like what you put on a 45 album. <laughs> Just a little inexpensive, like, little souvenir. Much like people leave guitar picks. I'll leave that there for somebody else. A little cheery flower. But anyway, I just wanted to take this little diversion and share this all with you. For all of you 50s rock and roll enthusiasts, uh, imagine the music that could have continued being made. Have we not lost those three musicians. It is worth noting, too, that Roger Peterson, you know, he had a family as well. And we don't know the conditions of that night. We can only speculate on, um, you know, everything's hindsight 2020. Everybody will say that he either did a great job or he was a horrible pilot and he should have never gone up in the first place. But the reality is that's why they call them accidents. They're a tragedy for a reason in a million ways. Anyway, hope you all have a wonderful and blessed weekend. This is a Friday. I believe it's the 23rd of August. Uh, let's see. The 25th of August. I'm sorry. Have a blessed day.